What's happening guys, Zach Man with video update today. Uh, let's get into Tron here. We're going to look at the chart here as we can kind of see with the 60 minute chart that uh, we are hitting some uh, new lows from last month, which is not very positive, but uh, we are definitely in a downtrend. So we got to hopefully come up with a reversal here, which I don't see that happening if we get out of here and go to the four hour chart. Um, we can kind of see that we went out of the wedge here and then we're starting a new downtrend. So, um, obviously right here would probably be a nice support. Let's make a line so we can kind of see the last bottom. It would probably be right here, actually. So we're getting closer to that uh, support right here from the previous uh, low back in January. Um, that would be a good support. If we can't beat that, then obviously we'd uh, continue down, which is not very positive so uh, the next support like i said is going to be right around 650 satoshis um uh, give or take so that'll be the next uh, major support line here so uh hopefully we can uh, bounce from that get another bull run going and touch uh get closer to 800 satoshis again and kind of see where we go from there as far as bitcoin it's kind of you know uh we still have that giant candle that we had go up here and we kind of really been kind of going a little bit sideways there a little bit down but nothing too drastic hopefully we get another leg up that would be pretty positive for bitcoin that would kind of bring things back to where we are um holo or hot uh, again that's a uh, kind of going sideways uh, again so that's not really making big head waves or moves or nothing like that um so uh good news about tron though today obviously we just got the airdrop from yesterday um if you have binance i checked my account today and i did get my airdrop which is pretty positive, so I got mine anyways through Binance, uh, and they did an airdrop within like the last, uh, pretty much like in four hours, everything was completed, so, um, and uh, uh, the price on, uh, oops, B, uh, actually let's just look it up on this chart here, and then I'll get back to what I was going to do here, so look at BitTorrent token, oh, it's actually pretty positive, actually it's kind of high. I think it's up 16. I think I seen it earlier. It was like 25%, I believe. But now it's kind of dropping down. But it didn't. Uh, it wasn't a big sell-off like a lot of people were saying, anyways. So, um, yeah. But I don't think a lot of people are selling it. That's probably why. So all these, all these were brought into circulation. So that's probably why. And maybe people are starting to sell it now. Well, we'll kind of see how that goes. But uh, what I wanted to talk about next. So I kind of started doing a little bit of a. This is aside from what Tron is, but I wanted to uh, been learning anyways a little bit about uh, cryptocurrencies and trading them and stuff like that. And this is kind of what I've accomplished so far. I'm not no genius or guru or going to make anybody rich by the chance. I mean, they, I could just be getting lucky right now. I don't know. But um, so I'm using uh, Bitcoin as my main currency. So that is kind of a big fluctuation in how it affects things a little bit. So I pretty much started with 100 bucks. First one I did was BitTorrent. I entered at 28 uh, Satoshi's exit at uh, 29 Satoshi's and that gave me 110 which is 10 percent is about two days uh, it took me to get that my goal is only to, to do one percent my goal is like one percent per day um per token oh, my phone's going off for a while um so that's kind of what my goal is just to get one percent you know because I figured you know if I can do it every day or even if it's two or three percent a day you know it, it should average out and then you know if I can get 25 30 percent return every month that would be pretty positive so um so that was my first uh trade that i did on uh february 4th my second trade was uh holo or hot which was on uh, the 7th of february so i got in with 110 at 33 satoshis cashed out at 34 satoshis and that gave me uh 124 dollars which is a 13 percent gain uh, it took about four days for that one to get to where i wanted it to go again my goal was one percent and then today I uh, got into XRP. Now, because Bitcoin went down, and like I said, I traded Bitcoin, like the capital I had wasn't 124, it went down to 122. But then I cashed out and I got 2% uh, back on that. So um, that's, and it only took me a day to do that. So that's just kind of, um, I, I don't know, we'll, uh, but I'll show you what I've been doing basically and kind of how it works. Like I said, I'm not no genius or nothing like that when it comes to trading or a financial advisor, but uh, I just kind of um, look at the top, I don't know. 10, 15 uh, uh, tokens that uh, have the highest volume that's been traded in the last 24 hours and kind of just look at them. Obviously, the best ones to get into that I noticed is like hold them, ones that are really, really low because they have a higher, 
you know, it doesn't take much for them to get, you know, 15, 20% gains, but then it also takes a long time, you know, versus like XRP, for example. Uh, I got into that today, and I, was, I got in at, let's see, 27. Let's see if I can get it close to that. The most kind of, uh, 28, 25. 20. Well, let's just say it's 25. But I got in at 8,327 Satoshis, but uh, so I just kind of raised this up. Like I said, I wanted to cash out at 1%, uh, which would have gotten me, it was. 8,409 which is what I cashed out at so that's kind of how I gauge like I said all I want is 1% but uh, if we go to like holo let's go back and find that or even TRX but um, so I got it on holo and it was based it off of wherever it's at right now so if I do the same thing let's expand this maybe make it easier uh, so let's say I got in Let's just say right here, for example, because uh, I got in at 33. Oh, this is a pretty good example. So 33 is what I got into, and then I hashed out at 34, which would be right here, which is 9%. Um, and again, like I said, it's going to vary on the price of what Bitcoin is and if that's going up too because I'm trading Bitcoin, not in U.S. dollars or nothing. So I don't know. I, that's just what I'm trying to figure out as well. So I'm just beginner on that. So I'm just kind of taking my time. Like I said, I, my goal is only get 30% per month or 25 to 30, and I'm already... Pretty much close to that so i'm not going to be doing this every day you know just only when i see something um crossing over or whatever uh obviously i use the macd rsi all that kind of stuff so i kind of wait for you know something like this um and then i kind of see the, the the bollinger bands here how it hits the bottom and then they kind of fluctuate like that but it all depends on the market too and what's going on so i don't know we'll, we'll see what happens but uh, if you guys got any pointers on that let me know otherwise that's all i got for today thanks for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow